Hey friends, today I am hanging out on 192 here in Kissimmee, Florida. I wanted to show you a few of my favorite places to hunt down vintage Disney memorabilia and like different theme park collectibles. I visit a bunch of different pawn shops, thrift stores, and even gift shops. You'd be surprised the things that you would find. So, let's go do this. When in doubt, I always like to stop at Orange World get myself some fresh squeezed orange juice. I love this place, isn't it so unique? 192 has some of the most amazing building structures I've ever seen. If you're not familiar with 192, it's a very popular road right outside Walt Disney World that has a whole bunch of different gift shops and unique buildings. It's mostly known for like the wizard gift shops and of course, Orange World. I mean, who could forget Orange World? Get some fresh oranges and tangerines. They even had red navel oranges here. And they even give some samples. Look at that. I want to try a red navel orange. Look at these red navels. Fancy. I got some fancy oranges to start off the day. Red navel, premium red navel, and then a sugar baby under there. I know oranges have nothing to do with Disney memorabilia, but come on, it's free oranges. We're gonna move along to our first Disney memorabilia shop, and it's actually right near Orange World right here. And here we are at our first stop. And by the way, the red premium navel was my favorite out of the three that I had. I just figured I'd throw that in there. The character corner, Disney collectibles. They buy, sell, and trade Disney pins and just vintage Disney memorabilia. And it's really awesome because they have a variety of things here. I've showed this store uh, before in videos, but it's always one of my go-to to actually stop at. They have so many amazing things in here and some things I think are just shocking that you can stumble upon inside a little gift shop that's on 192. I want to start off by showing you one of the coolest things I think I've ever stumbled upon in one of these little shops. A Disneyland Railroad Spike. Look how amazing that is. I think that is so cool and it's actually labeled 51 out of 100. So there was only 100 of these. That is so rare. They have a lot of these little shadow boxes. These are really cool. I see Pinocchio, Lady and the Tramp, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. I like those. And then even some big figurines. I love Jack and Sally up there. But one of my favorite things is they constantly have a big collection of license plates. They have the Grand Floridian. This one's awesome. The Dawn of a New Disney Era, Epcot Center. That's the 10th anniversary. It's only 40 bucks for that. It's pretty amazing the things that they actually have. I also like that they have a bunch of cast member name badges or name tags. And that's really cool because I want to find a Nate one or a Nathan. And I haven't come across it yet. We got Sally. We got Barbara. We got Bob. We got Darlene. We got Pat. Eric. So many amazing names. Cheryl. Noreen. No Nate though. Here's a mat. Close. The name tags are only $8 a piece. And this store actually will ship things out to you too, I think. Uh, I'll put all their information in the description below. But let me see if I can grab a card right now. This is their information. I'll add this in the description too. But they have a website and they have a phone number. You can call them. They also have this little thing where you get a free pen. That's so awesome. It's a fast pass. They also have a big collection of vintage Disney houseware. And these are like cups, but take a look at this bucket. I like it, Walt Disney World. And it actually has the old sorcerer hat for uh, MGM Studios. I don't know when this was, but I like the design. They also have tons of the cups that you would see in like different places. They have the McDonald's cups. I really like this stuff, it's very nifty. I'm not sure where this villain's table's from, but I think this is really awesome. Look at this, you got Captain Hook, you got Jafar, Corella. This is such an amazing table. Wow. Another thing this store is actually known for is their pin trading and their Disney figurines because they have a big collection of those and also a big, big collection of pins. These are the figurines. I know a lot of people collect these. Oh, Quasimodo. I love Quasimodo and uh, oh Geppetto. 
I like this one at your pedal. It looks like one's missing though. Oh no, it's in the back. That's really nifty. There are so many cool ones here, actually. I would like these, and I'm not even a big like figurine collector, but they are fancy. And then, like I said, they have a very big pin collection. I actually like all of the way that they actually set up their pins. It's very, it's very convenient. They're all separated, so like this is all different Mickey and year pins. So you can find ones from like 2004, 2009, all over the place. And they're 10 for 60, 5 for 35. And then they have some more limited edition ones that they have in separate, like different display cases, like over here. We got like a Stitch collection here, and then a Cinderella or a Princess collection here. Makes it very easier. Ooh. I love these wonderfully wicked ones. Corella, Gaston, Ursula, very fancy. They also sell very old vintage plush dolls and they're kind of like creepy looking. Like it's just the way that it was back then but you look at them now and you're like, wow, that's strange. This little mini doll and look at all the different Mickeys. Like some of them just look a little strange or example, the seven dwarves. I mean, come on, look at this. That is a little strange, isn't it? These actually are so awesome. These are cast member invitations to like celebrate special events. I've never seen any of this before. So this is like the third birthday celebration, October 1st, 1974. This one is second birthday celebration, October 1st, 1973. P.S. May I extend a personal invitation for you to experience one of our World Showcase update sessions. This is really, really cool stuff. I've never seen these before. This goes all the way up to the fifth. Those are so cool. I've never seen anything like that. And I like how they addressed it to the cast of 1971 or to the cast of 1972. That's really fun. I think that's awesome. Take a look at these really cool tins. These are actually cookie tins. This is from Disney's Grand Floridian Beach Resort. Wow, still sealed. So that means the cookies are in there. These are raspberry cookies. I don't see a date on here. I would guess maybe 90s, but that's really cool. That's a good collectible. These are only $9.99. Wow, I like that. There are still a lot of great things I can probably show you here, but I want to move along to some different spots. Like I said, there's a couple, there's a few of them that I like to visit frequently and uh, give you guys a look at them. But if you have any questions about anything in here, you can just, like I said, use the description, call them, email them, go to their website. Sometimes the prices aren't on there and I can't say it. And if you even want to know what a price is or something, you could just literally call them up and they'll tell you. Remember I said 192 is known for its unique building structures. You're a wizard, Harry. Most of the places that I visit are kind of hit or miss. This one is kind of unique because just like all of our grocery stores and pharmacies, because we're in that Disney bubble, they always have Disney merchandise. So that goes for the same thing here. All of our pawn shops all have like Disney stuff inside them. Isn't that kind of strange? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so the pawn shops will buy up Disney memorabilia and Disney stuff so that they can resell them because they know there's a market for it down here. So that's why I'm at the Value Pond. Now this one is really close to Disney World and there's actually two of them on 192, like within a five mile like radius. So we'll stop and just take a peek see. You never know what you're gonna find inside these places. They've got different pins, a Mulan doll. And is that a Banshee? They actually have a Banshee. Someone pawned a Banshee. How amazing is that? This Banshee is actually a collectible. It's a Dream Finder one. $35. And as you see, it goes down the price as long as it stays here. They also have all the different figurines. And like I said, that Mulan doll. That Mulan doll is going to be $47 in February. Very interesting. Look at this cool thing. 15 magical years with the Walt Disney Company inside a pawn shop. That's crazy, right? 80 bucks this is, and it's an award they give the cast members. So if you work for 15 years, you got this award. And here it is. And then look also, they have tons of lounge flies, all Disney lounge flies. That's really cool that they have that. 
this store is just so cool because they have so many different memorabilia items funko pops nascars down here are some disney prints actually like isn't it cool that they have that here is that a barry manilow collection very fancy it's very hit or miss like i said but i find it interesting that they had like that 15 year cast member award in there the dream finder banshee i mean that was kind of that was an interesting find but nothing i would actually purchase today but if you were looking for like a special lounge fly or stuff like that you know they got them here but now we're moving along though we're gonna go to another really nifty little location this next location i usually don't find a lot of great stuff in here but i do stop here all the time because it's mom and pop's shop so it's a thrift store and i think it's privately owned it's not like a big commercial chain or anything and it's very small so i always like to stop and see what they have and give them any you know business that i could because it's hard out here it's hard out here in the thrift game and plus i like the name of the store got thrift very fancy <laughs> This store is very interesting. Very funny to see another cast member award. This one, they actually took the plaque off of it. So I don't know what this one's for, but it's only $7.99 and you can kind of make your own plaque and put it on there. I think that's really interesting. And then look at this Pirates of the Caribbean cast member doll right here. It actually has a name tag in the full Pirates of the Caribbean like cast member outfit. That's unique. I also see some old Disney figurines. Well, look at the raisin right there. That's really awesome. And then down here, they have like some special Disney footwear. This is like a tea party, like uh, high heel set. Oh, look at those teacups on the back end of those. That's so cool, actually. And then over here, we have like a Cinderella sipper. Uh, slipper did I say sipper that's fancy but I want to see more about those Alice in Wonderland teacup shoes I have no idea what those are but they seem so interesting don't they those are teapots as the heels very cool like I said it is hit or miss and for the most part there's just a whole bunch of clothes in here but those Alice in Wonderland shoes were kind of in nifty. Same thing with the Pirates of the Caribbean doll. I mean, I don't know where that came from. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit, but I really like this Walt Disney World Donald Duck hat. You can see it has all the different variations of Donald throughout the years. This one says Roger Rabbit. Double Trouble, 1946. <laughs> the Three Cabaneros, 1945. This is really awesome, right? The Wise Little Hen, 1934. It's a little bit worn out, but still very cool. Now we moved along to our next stop, and this place is one of my favorites, and it's one of the best places you can buy Disney pens. I feel like they have the most extensive collection that's actually for sale here. And I always come here, and I also show this place a lot, and it's such a nifty little stop tucked into a flea market. Right here at the Visitor's Flea Market, across from Old Town, is a really awesome stand that sells amazing Disney memorabilia and some really rare Disney pins. And like I said, I've showed this in the past and it's always one of my go-to stops. This place is Pinsanity by Booster Packs and Beyond. I love this place. They have so many amazing things. As you can see on the outside, we have a vintage Snow White and the Seven Dwarves movie poster. I love all of this art. There are some amazing things. And even some of the pin collections, they have all of the very Merry Christmas Party ones. That's 2002 right there. The cast exclusive pin set. I seen this last time and I absolutely loved it. 15 years. All of the different Epcot logos, Horizons, Spaceship Earth, Communicore, and then of course, all of World Showcase in order. How amazing is that? This place is one of those places that's always constantly buying and selling and trading. So they always have fresh material, lots and lots of Funko Pops. But like I said, their main thing is all about the Disney pins. And like I said before, I've never seen anyone have such rare pins to trade and sell than this place itself. But I also like all of the vintage things that they have to sell here as well. And they have some really good items, even some big figurines. You can see up top there. 
this one is really cool. Look at this old Pluto doll. Like super old. And then you can see the figurines. I really like it. Oh, this is a 15 year uh, Walt Disney World like picture. I've never seen anything like that before. Over here you can see we have some rare Disney dollars. They have a $10 Simba one there. And then a $1 Corella DeVille one. I really want that Corella DeVille one. 50 bucks they're asking for it, but that one I know is super rare. And you can see some watches. And then down here, Snow White's Golden Anniversary Plate. It's only 49 bucks. That's not too shabby. They have a whole pack of uncirculated Disney dollars right there. $22, so there's probably 22 of them in there. This pink collection up here looks really, really awesome. I don't know why, I'm just really drawn to this. And you can see, it's very expensive. It's $1,200, but look at it. It's amazing, and they have tons of them. And then just tons of loose pins themselves. And they're all separated by characters or movies. So like Ratatouille, and then Monsters, Inc., Toy Story. So it's very easy to actually find something that you're looking for here. They also have some really cool castles and figurines. Look at this carousel. I have never seen anything like this. That is breathtaking, isn't it? Scrooge, Goofy, Mickey, Pooh Bear. Everyone's on here. They even have Mirabelle back there. I don't know what this is. I'm like afraid to touch it. Does it lift? Oh yeah, they come apart. That is so amazing. And it actually turns. I don't know what something like this is worth, but that's amazing, I think. Also, take a look at Mickey. Fantasmic. Look at this. Sorcerer Mickey. That carousel is so cool. I was going to see some more information about it, but I don't know anything about it. I still think it's amazing. There's no price or anything like that, but I'll put a description if you want to browse their catalog here. I'll put that in the description so you can check them out too. And you can actually call and get any information on anything that you see from here, or you can visit their page. I'll make sure it's all there for you to check out though. These are all really cool. We got a Pleasure Island Pass. That's awesome. And then there's a Disney Quest from 1998. 100 Years of Magic. A McDonald's Special Preview. Animal Kingdom. Wow. Oh, a Walt Disney World Co-Pilot License. I haven't seen one of those in a long time, but I love those. This is a really nice Mary Blair piece right here. You see it in the background. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really awesome. I think it's just a, like a vase. They also have an Our Fairy Tale Weddings, like, I think this is a photo album. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow, 49 bucks. But still, that's really unique, isn't it? And it says Walt Disney World right at the top there. I also like this Mickey right here. Oh, that's Minnie. Oh, sorry, Minnie. That's Minnie. This is the information for the shop inside here. And you said you got the phone numbers and they have a Facebook and an Instagram. I'll put all of that in the description as well. But in case you do see something and you want to inquire about it, you can just easily look it up right through there. Look at these super old figurines. <laughs> look at Eeyore. Wow, and then the goof in the back here. Oh, I want to be careful with it, but oh my Lord. That is so cool. These are piggy banks. You can see we got Snow White, Pluto, Popeye, and look at little Pinocchio over in the corner there with Dumbo. These are really old. This Friday the 13th pink collection is really cool. $279, but look at that. I would love to have that hanging on my wall. Also, I love this castle one up here that just has a whole bunch of pins inside of it. Do you see it there? That's really nifty. That one's $249 and I love the frame. There are so many items in here. I can just browse and browse and browse. Like I said, I mean, it is, it's, it's pretty big in here. And they have like everything. They have everything from ears to big figurines to cast member awards. Remember we seen that cast member award over at the pawn shop? Here is another one right here. It's $149. That's pretty crazy. You can get a good deal at the pawn shop. And then uh, some more cast member awards. I don't want to actually show the name, so I'm not going to really shine in on them. But I think that's so interesting, isn't it? 
it's so interesting to see how these cast member awards ended up in these places like the pawn shop and the flea market i mean people worked a long time to achieve that status of like 15 years 20 years with the company another interesting thing are these old decks of cards look at oh i love that and then we have an epcot one this one's interesting it comes in a little case i don't want to take them out but wow these are so fun I also enjoy old magic bands. One of the magic bands that I've been really looking for is some from Epcot's 35th anniversary where they say Reflections of Earth. I've really been looking for it, but I can't find it. I see we have the Farewell to Epcot one. That's limited to 2,500. Then they have the Princess Layla one here, limited release. These are really fun. Ooh, this one is actually only one of a thousand. So that's kind of super rare. I like this. Since I'm actually in the flea market, I think I'll walk around a little bit and show you some of the other boots. I'm not sure what they got going on in here, but it just seems so fun. Like you see how they have all the different boots set up and it's all separated. We got shoe shops, souvenir stops. <laughs> Places like this always gets me interesting. This one's closed, oh, look at that. It says they got Clarence back there. A lot of closed shops at the moment. This one's selling cases of Coors Light there. This one kind of caught my attention a little bit. I see a bunch of signs and I see this little glass stand here. Where do you think this glass stand came from? Look at it. It's not from inside here. They must have got that from somewhere, but it's so interesting. They have a bunch of Harry Potter wands in there. What is this? Is that an avatar mask? What? <laughs> That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Tons of other cool stuff like Funko Pops. This is really interesting. Stands like that always pique my interest. I always have to pop in. I don't know, I'm drawn to like comic books and Jake, if I see different signs and stuff like that, I immediately hop in there. Boots like this is what I'm talking about. I like seeing old figurines. Look at, they got a Moana doll right here. That's not even that old. But like some of this stuff, like look at this X-Men Evolution Sabertooth. I like things like this. You look up top, you got some real, real old ones. X-Men, X-Force, <laughs> Batman, Legends, you got the Joker, and then tons of different other comic books and just pop culture references and things like that. I really do, I do enjoy this stuff. I also enjoy big, gigantic Hannibal Lecter figurines. <laughs> Why is that there? Oh, look, they have an old Nightmare on Elm Street figurine with it as well. Take a look at that A Bug's Life Ant Hill play set up there. That seems fun. I don't remember seeing that when I was growing up. They also have an invisible woman. That's fun. Holy moly, I found a treasure trove of Funko Pops. Like, little like hidden gem over here. Kind of just like peek over here behind the clothes. Look at this. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, I like that mountain figurine. So many Funko Pops. They also have some cool figurines on this side, like big figurines. We've seen Hannibal Lecter. They even have like a Jason Voorhees over here, kind of like patrolling the Funko Pop area. Nothing's gonna get past this guy. <laughs> and just in case, he's got backup. Wonder Woman over there. Anywho, I think that's going to do it for me. What an amazing day. We went to so many different places. Like I said, some of it's hit or miss. Sometimes I'll find amazing things when I come out and just kind of do like my little stroll down 192 to fit like all of my favorite spots in. But sometimes I don't get anything. It's so much fun just exploring though. It's one of my favorite things to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.